Hi everyone, I'm David Marinek with ABC and the Repackaging Revolution. Once again, we're digging in a little bit further with Chris's brilliant book, The Plastic Paradox. And before we go much further, what I really wanted to share a little bit is, is, is have Chris share your background, mm -hmm. share why you wrote this book. I think that's a great little story that people will relate to. And then I'll share a little bit about who I am and why we're putting these videos together. So Thanks, David. when you had mentioned there was a reason why you went, wait a minute. So tell us that quick story. So I live in a nice area with a nice school district. That's why we picked it. And my two daughters came home from school one day and they've been taught things which are clearly scientifically untrue. And as a scientist, I care about facts and logic and that made me angry. And that's what made me embark on this because we can't start teaching the younger generation things which are untrue because they'll grow up with crazy ideas in their brains and make decisions that don't actually help. They do more harm than good. You know, I think, and I love that because at the core of this is you're a scientist, you're a chemist, and you literally just heard something that said, no, nah, that doesn't sound right. Correct. And you had mentioned, I believe in your book, correct me if I'm wrong, but that your children were taught that plastics don't degrade until for a thousand years or something like that? Was, right. it, was that right? Was that the, the, the lie, if you will? Yeah, there's an urban legend that plastics don't degrade and that's preposterous. The global market for plastic stabilizers to stop plastics from degrading is $5 billion a year. There's no way anyone would be spending $5 billion a year on additives for plastics to stop them degrading if they weren't degrading in the first place, right? So that's just crazy. Plastics degrade quicker than almost all materials we use. They degrade quicker than metal or glass or ceramic or pottery or cement. 90% of, of materials we use today degrade much faster than plastic. And if you look at a plastic bag, it degrades at about the same speed right. as a paper bag. And throughout these videos, we're gonna go into deeper levels with some of these individual products, but I think it's really important that you guys know that we're not selling anything, having necessarily, we're, we're just stating the facts that Chris has done the research. So thanks, Chris, that's a great intro. Thanks, David. Thank you.